Hey there guys, Portal Master here, and I am back for another episode of Re-Exploring the Skylands, the Let's Play series where I work my way through Skylanders games and get to re-experience them just like it was for the first time. Today, we're going to be doing, what is this, the eighth episode of our playthrough, and this is going to be the Crystal Eye Castle. Uh, so this is really exciting, super excited to get into this today's episode, and let's go ahead and put our first Skylander on the Portal of Power. I'll give you guys a hint. It's of the undead element, and it's going to be Cinder. This is Series 2 Cinder because I only use Series 2 characters in this particular playthrough because I'm trying to preserve my progress on my Series 1s since I never really played my Series 2 Skylanders that much. Uh, before we head in, I'm going to reset Cinder though just because that's what I'm doing every single time. I want to be able to start fresh with all my Skylanders. So, uh, yep, there we go. We got Cinder reset, new heroic challenge available. Let's talk to Diggs and let's get going. Are you ready to go to the Crystal Eye Castle? Yes, sir, we, we are. Yes, sir, we, we are, is what I'm trying to say, suavely. But at least I won't see them too clearly. We got Cinder sitting on this nice long bridge. This is such an awesome level. Uh, they reused a lot of this level's assets, I think, for uh, the Dark Light Crypt, actually, but it doesn't matter because it's still a cool level and I like it. So there we go, that's the item we gotta get for this particular level. Uh, if you can't tell, based on the way that I uh, started the level off, uh, I just got done recording the last episode. It's been maybe 10 or 15 minutes just to give my voice a little bit of a break, but we are back and ready for action once again. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I'm going to be able to record uh, like four episodes today. So hopefully the next like like a whole month's worth of these things will be uh, recorded in a single day. super clear. It must have been the crystal eye. Get up there, you'll need to destroy the two seeing towers in order to open the big gate. So I forgot to actually mention this in the last video, but one of the things that has been brought to my attention is that people want these episodes of this oh, yeah. Let's Play That's series. Working. One second. This one is very important. Once you get past the gate... <laughs> he got yeeted off the, the platform. All right. So, one of the things that has been brought to my attention is that folks want these episodes to happen more than just once a week. And honestly, I kind of agree because I actually went and looked at how long it would take me to get through all of the Skylanders games if I did one episode a week for um, all of these and was actually able to consistently keep up my upload schedule. It would take until I believe the um, middle of next year to actually finish this up. And considering that I started this series in the fall of last year, that would be a very, very long Let's Play series, even though it is gonna be spanning six different games. But that wouldn't even give me any chance to do like any side content or anything like that. And that's not including having to split episodes for Spires or for Swap Force and for uh, Superchargers since those levels are so long. So I am looking to move this series to a twice weekly uh, cadence. That will be a lot more content for you guys. And if that is something you're interested in, I definitely want to hear your feedback on that because that will be a big commitment going to two episodes a week. But if it's what the guys, if it's what people want and it'll help views, then that's definitely something I think is gonna be worth it. Um, the series would still go on for like a year at that point. And plus, that would allow me to have more time to explore things like the heroic challenges and side content and all other types of things, you know? And I think that that would be a fun little, um, a fun thing to do. So let me know uh, and we'll try to figure that out. I will say it will be a little bit before we're able to start doing that because right now I am doing more than two Ring of Heroes videos a week because I'm doing two Let's Play episodes a week every Sunday and every Thursday. And um, I'm gonna probably continue to make at least one Ring of Heroes gameplay video and one guide or something um, for like another month or so. So understanding that it will be a little bit before we're able to switch to, uh, you know, two episodes a week. But let me know, again, be thinking on it. Wow, that is a random legendary treasure right there. I never would have guessed that that's where the legendary treasure for this level was. 
All right, now let's hit this thing and let's get going. All righty. Lots of chompies, but Cinder don't care. Cinder is honestly a pretty powerful character. Let's be real here. All right, let's get this ring and this random coin. And push the little Tuttle down in the hole. All righty. Cinder just makes such quick work of Chompies, just with her little area of effect attack. Like, her Spectral Lightning is so good. Okay. Push this guy out of the way. Then push him back in the way. We're roasting and toasting. I know that's Sunburn's job, but we're roasting and toasting. You know, honestly, I know I ranked Cinder pretty low in my Ranking the Dragons video, but I've since realized that I really should have ranked her higher. Um, I really think I sold her a little short there, to be honest. If any of you guys watched that, let me know if you agree. <laughs> Especially now that I'm playing with Cinder. I don't know. Overall, I stand by my rankings, but... Eh. Cinder might be one of the ones I would have changed. All right, be gone. It's just such an awesome Skylander. She is, even though I don't think she might look like the coolest dragon, she is definitely a powerhouse, and I don't think anyone will ever deny that she is one of the better um, OG Skylanders. All right, so we got Prism Break, Soul Gem, and... Um, We'll come back to the Earth Skylander here in a minute. Let's let's get this undead elemental gate before we feel the need to switch off the Skylanders. All right, across this bridge over to the Secret Tower. We already got a ton of gold. We got like 800. Oh my gosh, for Cinder, it's a lot. Hold on. Oh no no, I thought that was a breakable like weapons rack item thingy. Wow, this is a lot of enemies in a, for an elemental zone. All right, let me take this guy out. I'm not really worried about Chompies because I have Cinder. And Cinder is not going to need to be concerned about little enemies like Chompies. All righty. These guys are going to be the trickier ones. All right, and bam. There we go. Took another one of those big guys down. I actually don't know the names of those big guys. I don't know if they have an enemy entrance like they're like a lot of the rest of the enemies. Maybe I just don't remember it, but I can't seem to think of an enemy entrance for them to think of their name. All right, get out of here, you zombie pod. Thank you. Oh, we got more enemies. Oh my god. You know, it's never occurred to me that this might be the uh, inspiration for like the Brock's Arena Challenges thing, because that's kind of almost what this is. Whoa! Got a lot of spinny Vicarious Vision style enemies right there. Jeez, this is a lot of experience. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get around there. Not quite. At least we leveled up, though. We're right, to level three, so it doesn't matter any damage that we've taken. All right, now we can come over here, shock this guy. Let's go on the other side. Zappity zap. All right, dang. We got a lot of gold and a lot of experience for Cinder in a really, really short amount of time. I'm not complaining, though. And we got this awesome hat. We got the eye hat. Five critical hit, five elemental power. Why the heck not? Throw that on there. Teleport out. Hold on. I almost think I missed something, though. What's down here? I guess there's nothing down there. But it certainly looks like there should be. Okay, so I guess it's going to be time to switch over. And now we're going to be switching to an Earth Element Skylander. Can you guess who it's going to be? Because it's going to be... Focus, please. Ah! I almost threw him across the room. Dino Rang. We got Dino Rang. Let's slap him on the portal and play this elemental zone. Uh, I think I'm going to have to reset him too, aren't I? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to, and that's unfortunate because he's at level 10. Ah. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Got Dino Rang. Dino Rang again. Another Skylander that he just deserved so much better than he got. He's such a cool Skylander, and I feel like he's a fan favorite. That's why it was always so weird to me that he did not get brought back for a repose. 
Because like they were always like, yeah, we repose the fan favorites. But what what about Dino Rang? Isn't he a fan favorite? Always seemed like he was. Okay, and now we step on this. Come over here. Nope. I don't think I can, oh, oh, maybe I can pull it off. Don't step on the thing, don't step on the thing, don't step on the thing. All right, we bop that thing and then we gotta come over here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can I hit it? There we go. Don't step on it. Go, 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 go. All right, there we go. That's what we needed. We got the treasure chest now for Dino Rang. Okay. Lots and lots of rewards over here. What do we have? Like 400 gold? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now... Mm, nope. 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 Mm. I don't think this is it. Hmm, this is kind of, this is very puzzly. Is this one it? And then hit this. And then hit this. Yeah, there we go. All right, we did all that. We did all this for a stupid hat, I bet. It's not even gonna be good. Okay, never mind. that's actually pretty good. <laughs> A Trojan helmet plus 10 armor. I'll take that. I'll actually take that. Uh, and it matches uh, Dino Rang pretty nicely, so we'll keep on going with Dino Rang. All right, so now we're going to have to come back down here. Air Element Skylanders are strong in this area, but it doesn't matter because I'm pretty confident that Dino Rang can handle whatever gets thrown at him. So we'll come down here and enter into the East Tower. And now it's Tech Skylanders anyway, so it wasn't worth switching. Cyclops Mammoth. I could have kept him chained, but we're too cool for that. Whoa! He moved a little faster than I thought he would. I didn't think he was going to pounce like that for some reason. All right, take out these spinny boys. No, stop spinning. Stop spinning. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Get the rest of the experience in the gold before we take out that last one. Boom! All right, and I think, is that it? Oh no, it just took down one of the spires, okay. Now this is gonna collapse, we gotta head out of there. And I think we can now go up to that next platform. Wow, I'm, I'm really glad we got out of there. That was, <laughs> that was really destructive. Okay. Still Air Skylanders are stronger here, but we don't care. We don't need no Air Skylanders. We're cooler than that. We don't need... We don't need to do that. <laughs> Alright. Um, ooh, treasure chest in plain sight. We'll take that. Dino Rang is another Skylander. You're gonna get a lot of extra gold from playing here. Yeah, I did last episode's upgrades off camera just because it took me so long. Like that that episode, last episode was getting way too long for my taste. So I needed to cut that for sure. Alright. Air Skylanders are still strong. I don't care. All the gold. All the gold. All the experience. This is actually a great level for grinding. I really should have grinded this level out a lot more when I played this. Honestly, I didn't do a ton of grinding when I played Spire's Adventure as a kid. Spire's Adventure didn't really have any good ways to grind. That was always one of my biggest criticisms of it. Okay, well those guys are just going to keep chucking stuff down, but probably not a big deal. Oh, don't bite me, please. Shake, 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 shake. Dino Ring is going to like already get to pick his path by the end of this. <laughs> so much gold for him. 
Someone specifically requested Dino Rang, which is why I'm playing as him. If you have any more recommendations for Skylanders you, you would like to see me play, be sure to drop those down in the comments, and the next time I do a bulk recording session, I'll try to play those. Um, some of the Skylanders that I saw listed down below, I've got planned for upcoming episodes, uh, but if you listed any other Skylanders, be sure to let me know, because um, if I don't play them in the next few episodes, I might just honestly forget. Ooh, that was really close. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Ah, dang it. Get out of here. You're the reason I have to redo this thing. Darn it. Okay. Come down here. Bop. 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 And bop. I don't think I can go up there yet. Nope, no, no. I have to go down here. That's right. Okay, so now we're to the West Tower. Alright, let's take these things down first. The thrower guys. They're gonna be more annoying. Infinitely more annoying. Stop hitting me! No. Don't you touch me. Alright. Dodge that thing. Oh, oh, we dodged it again. Dodge it again. All right, take this guy out. Take him out. Take him out before he can get to me. There we go. All right. Dino Ring's a powerhouse. That's what I seriously don't understand. Why no repos, man? Like, even Camo, they eventually gave a repos, but they never gave Dino Ring a repos until finally the Eon's Elite thing. He's so cool. Okay, and I think that's. Yep. It's gonna take the tower down. And now the whole thing is gonna cave in. Alright, we've taken down the two towers. Isn't this basically the plot of uh, the second Lord of the Rings book? I think so. <laughs> it's called the two towers. I think that's I think that's what happens. Stronger in this zone. Okay. Let's uh head on. So now I think we can go up the main gate. Yep, here we go. We can go into the inner courtyard. And then up the long approach. Skylanders of the air element are stronger in the I think not. I said I think not. I said I think not. Spam the B attack. Take out the spinny boy before he starts spinning. I'm gonna start calling him Levi. You get that joke? Props on to you. If you don't. I suggest you watch Attack on Titan. No, I didn't mean to enter! No! Yeah, dang it, you gotta be kidding me. There was more stuff out there. At least I think there was more stuff out there. Ah! That really threw me off. No, stop spinning. Too many Levi's. <laughs> Get out of here. Seriously, Dino Ring's B attack is actually so good for taking out enemies at close range. Like, he's one of the few ranged characters that's still super good at close range. I mean, granted, he is not like a long range, uh, you know, character, not like Drobot that's like ideal from a long distance away, but he is still definitely a solid mid range character with some of the best up close combat of any ranged character, I think, in the franchise. Um, and it's solely because of this B attack. Solely because it can sit here and just do this. Level up burst. All right, stop spinning. I think today's episode has rekindled my love of Dino Rang. <laughs> All right, before we get the Crystal Eye this time, let's get rid of that stuff. And I'm betting I can't leave, can I? I'm betting it's not gonna let me. Nope, it's not. Of course it's not. Why am I not even surprised? Alrighty. But there we go, we got the Crystal Eye, and I think that's the end of the level, because we already discovered all the areas. So this has actually been a pretty quick little episode. Wow! Amazing! Suddenly everything is so much clearer. <laughs> Let's get it back to the ruins and add it to the machine. What did we miss? Oh, we didn't miss anything. Wow, okay. 
So I guess there wasn't really anything I missed out in that opening area, aside from maybe just a few destroyable like barrels and stuff to get for gold, but overall it looks like we didn't really miss anything. Well done. You have brought the crystal eye. The crystal eye. <laughs> I also love how it shows you like the inner workings of the core. It's so cool. I, w I really would like it someday if someone like drew up a full diagram of like the inner workings of the core. That would be so cool just based on like all of these illustrations um, and, and cutscenes and stuff. That'd be cool. Alrighty. And character's gonna talk? Yeah, Thank they're you. gonna talk. Now we must get the Eternal Earth Source. The villagers in Stone Town have recovered it and are keeping it safe until we arrive. Oh yeah! Finally, an easy one! <laughs> Finally! Cake! cake. <laughs> I'm gonna start yelling cake every time I do a good thing. <laughs> I just got an A on this test. Cake! I guess if you count though. I want a million dollars! Cake! We should ask him. I mean, it's a good catchphrase. Got to talk more to Diggs. Stone Town? Sure, I know it. Couldn't see much. Folks <laughs> sure sounded nice. <laughs> I believe it's where we'll find the eternal earth source. Can you leave the Skylander there? No, let's not go over to Stone Town. What I do want to do real quick. I wasn't gonna mention it, but I can't see anything in that tunnel. <laughs> okay, so we'll go to Stone Town in the next episode, but today I want to actually do some upgrades. I want to get Dino Rang's upgrades really quickly. So let's pop on back over to Persephone, Persephone. I know her name is Persephone, but don't lie to me and tell me that saying Persephone every once in a while isn't just a little bit fun. Alrighty, and now let's come up here. Oh, 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 got stuck on the wall. Alright, break it up, you two. No flirting here. And get over here, Persephone. Okay, let's see what we can get. Yes, we would like to upgrade. Uh, let's do the Basalt Boomerangs. Just additional damage makes them look cooler. Why would we not want this? And then we'll come and grab. So we got Boomerang Finesse and we got the Stone Fist Traps. So I don't really use that very often. So let's just use the Stone Fist Traps just so we can get his tertiary ability unlocked. Always nice to get that third ability open. Yeah. Alrighty, so now let's pop him back off the portal and let's slam Cinder back down and let's see if we can get her anything. I think we got enough gold for her. Yeah, we got 890, so I think that's going to be enough to, to get something at least. So we can get Cinder's Flight or we can get Black Lightning. Now I know I like the tertiary ability, but that's... I meant to buy the other one. Wow, that was... Wow. Well, she can fly now! <laughs> Good for her. All right, there's her flight ability. Okay, folks, so that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back next week with another episode of Re-Exploring the Skylands, where we will head over to Stone Town and continue with our adventure through Skylands. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Portal Master. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out all my social medias linked down in the description below, as well as join the Skylanders Discord link down there too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. I just wanted to take some time to thank my generous patrons on Patreon, including Haley, Adrian, Wosa, True Blue Dogemon, and Angry Ted C.